As summer is here, I know many of us finding difficult to cope up with this heat. Especially pregnant women and new mothers along with their other challenges. The ancient practice of pranayama offers a natural and effective way to beat the summer heat with ease. In this video, we will talk about Sitali Pranayam technique. Along with that, I will let you know the contradictions and benefits for the new mother during this hot summer months. Sitali Pranayam is also known as cooling breath. It is very simple and powerful technique. First of all, I will let you know how to practice this. You can sit comfortably in cross legs position or you can use the chair and sit straight with erect spine and shoulders relaxed. Then keep your tongue in tube shape. Tube shape. If you couldn't able to do it, you can keep your mouth in O shape. Like this. Then you have to inhale with the rolled tongue or O shaped mouth. Inhale deeply. Then exhale through nose. You have to close your mouth after inhaling. Just exhale through nose. If you know Ujjayi breath, you can do Ujjayi breath while doing exhale. If you don't know, no issues. You can just exhale through nose. Repeat this 5 to 10 rounds as you are comfortable and master it. You can gradually increase the duration of doing it. Like inhale slowly, exhale slowly as long as you can. You can increase that duration as well. And you can increase the number of rounds that you are doing. But don't do it above 20 count and all. Just do it 5 to 10 rounds. It is more than enough. And try to do it in the morning itself. Now I will do 3 rounds of uh, Sitali Pranayam. Just try to observe, don't do it, just try to observe so that you will get the maximum information of doing it and you can practice on your own every day. There are three main benefits of Sitali Pranayam. It helps to reduce your body heat and inflammation, providing a relief from the summer discomfort. Second one is calms your mind and gives relief from stress and anxiety, promoting your mental well-being. Third one is it improves digestion and reduces the constipation and acidity problems as well. And also anyone with nasal infection, cold, cough or having low BP issues all the time or even suffering with migraine and uh, if anyone has any respiratory, severe respiratory issues like asthma, bronchitis, etc. then you can avoid this pranayama. And also if you feel dizzy while doing the pranayama, please avoid or stop doing it.